So what's the best team you've ever been part of, whether it's in business, in sport, music, any other context? But also, what's the worst team you've ever been part of? And what's the difference between the two? In this video, I want to share some tips and some research around the increasingly important area of psychological safety. So psychological safety as a topic has been around since the 60s, but it's really come to the fore in recent years, and particularly the research in the late 90s by Amy Edmondson, which looked at safety and team performance in healthcare. The initial research was really surprising, that high-performing teams identified more mistakes than lower-performing teams which didn't seem to make sense in the research. So when Amy Edmonds and her team dived more deeply into this, they identified that the reason for that difference was higher performing teams were safer for people to report errors. Whereas in lower performing teams, people didn't feel safe to share, highlight errors, and this led to lower performance and lower patient safety. Google built on this research in 2013 when they did a deep piece of research into team effectiveness within Google. And they identified that psychological safety was the most important factor in predicting performance within teams. So even within Google, highly motivated, talented individuals need a psychologically safe environment to bring their best to their teams. It's all about people feeling safe to be themselves. And that probably was a difference in the teams that I asked you to think about at the beginning of the video. So how do we go about creating this environment? At the heart of it is leaders. Leaders need to role model. They need to role model their fallibility, the fact they're human beings, that they make mistakes and they need help. Very different from the traditional view of strong leaders. Leaders also need to frame work as learning opportunities about improvement and about development. It's not always about simply getting it right first time. If we can create an environment where people are excited rather than anxious, this leads to higher performance. Leaders also need to destigmatize failure. It's okay to experiment and not get it right first time. And they also need to be curious. They need to listen, ask questions, get different perspectives and invite input. This isn't cre about creating a pink, fluffy, warm environment. Psychological safety go hand in hand with accountability and performance, about being more innovative, about being more profitable, about reducing errors. So what are you doing to create an environment of psychological safety in the teams you're part of?